In this video, we will figure out how to work with lines in the Volfix platform. So, to add a new price line to the chart, click on the price scale with the left mouse button and hover the cursor over the price we need. Confirm the level set with a second click. If we want to change the price of an already set line, then we select it with the left mouse button. And hovering over the new price, we confirm the change in the price of this line. If we want to delete this line, we again select it with the left mouse button and right click to delete it. The number above the line is the horizontal histogram value. In this case, this is volume value. And if we right click on the line label, we will open a window with the settings for this line. Here we can change the color of the line and the font color. Then we can specify the type of this line. For example, dashed. Here we can also indicate the beginning and end date of this line. Visibility is the line display setting. By default, new lines are displayed on all lower time frames, but we can change the display of the line. For example, display this line only in the current window. We can also display the line on all time frames, lower and higher, and all windows with this instrument, including all time frames. In other words, if we select all windows, we will display this line in all windows with this instrument and on all time frames. If we want to set this as default, we can do this in the Market Watch window, Setup, Global Settings, User Line Visible, Set All Windows, and Confirm. Here we can also set as default line text position and line transparency. We will return to this a bit later. We go further through the line settings. Note is the line's text. Let's sign it as line 1. Margin is the indent from the price scale, the indent of the text itself. Let's assume an example we have two lines from different windows at the same price, but we still want to indicate somehow that we have two levels at a given price. We go to the settings, and using the arrows in the lower left corner, we can switch between these lines. Let's label the second line, line 2, and change the color of this line, for example, to green. And then, we set margin to 5. Thus, we can see that at this price, we have two lines. Going further through the settings, position is the line's text position. For instance, we can display the text in the center of the line, or on the right. Area is the ability to create price zones. For example, if we specify four pips and select mid, we will build a price zone for four pips up and down. If we determine, for example, only down, then the price zone will be created from this price down by four pips. And here we can specify the transparency of this line. Hide line is the ability to hide this price level if we don't need it for now. And lock is blocking this level. By blocking this level, we will neither be able to delete it nor change its price. This is a kind of protection against accidental deletion of the line. And in the lower right corner, we have a button for copying this line for later pasting on another chart. In the same way, we can add timelines. Click on the time scale and set the line. In the setup, lines, we can paste the copied line on the chart or, using hotkey Control P, copy all price lines, delete all price lines, delete all timelines, delete all unblocked lines, or delete all lines from the chart.
The setup menu contains such a function as Hide Global Line, which allows you to hide all lines and drawing tools copied from other charts. In other words, this function will enable us to leave on the chart only lines and drawing elements that we add explicitly to this chart. And in the settings of this window, Menu Setup, Settings, Miscellaneous, we can default set the line's text color and the line's color for all following lines for a particular chart. For example, let's change the color of the line to gray, and all subsequent lines in this window will be built in gray color. In the upper right corner, we have a choice of a line type. This is a regular line or alert. That is, by specifying, for example, a price alert at a given price, after the price reaches this level, a sound alert will ring. For more information on setting up alerts, we have a separate video. You can find the link in the description under the video. That's all we have for now. Contact our technical support by contacts in the description if you have questions about lines in the Volfix platform. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day.